which are the best instruments for protesting with? Um, I probably can't answer that question definitively, but I thought that I would uh, make a video to show you what I'm considering taking with me um, to the next season of, of climate protests. Um, and it's important to decide because um, the next big uh, protest event, the big one in London starting April 21st, is right now uh, just around about a month away. Um, and if I'm going to practice music, I need to know what instruments I'm practicing on so that I can start preparing kind of at this point. And I practice kind of every day anyway, so it's just a question of switching my practice over to the instruments I think I'm going to take. What makes a great protest instrument? Well, I think that it needs a few different things. Uh, first of all, in my case, because I play a lot of instruments, I need to take lightweight instruments because I'll be taking several. So I think probably one of the worst things that I could take is a full-size guitar. Not all of that um, heavy in itself, but bulky and probably not suitable for that reason. Uh, and also if I want to make sure it's nice and safe, I might take uh, a case that ends up being heavy and bulky. So no, not a full size guitar, even though that is my main instrument. Um, and that sort of felt a little bit painful for me. What could I bring instead? So um, by chance, I came across the Yamaha Guitar Lely. Um, so basically it's the same as a guitar, but starts on the fifth fret. So like a guitar capoed on the fifth fret. Might I take this? I mean, at first I thought, yeah, great. Lightweight, small. Um, I don't know if I love the sound, but um, this the, it's like 75 quid new. I got it like almost free. Um, and I thought, yeah, take that. But problems it's really not that loud um and that might be because it's cheap so i'm thinking mm, maybe not and it's difficult to keep it in tune out of doors so maybe not that um what else could i bring how about a ukulele again this kind of came to me free if you were going to take a ukulele there's probably two that i'd recommend future king way here just dropping in after having edited all the whole video series and I just wanted to insert a note at this point saying that I felt a bit uncomfortable with the fact that I'm recommending things to buy um, for a little bit consumerist and I really don't want it to come across that way so I just kind of wanted to explain a bit about how that is um, for me for every instrument that I'm mentioning in, in the videos um, I've probably bought or tried you know half a dozen of them um, of different kinds you know like I have this ukulele which I don't recommend because it's too light built for the street and not waterproof enough. And <laughs> I have this ukulele, which is a coloured one by Mahalo that was so bad that I ended up just turning it into a one string guitar. And then I've got this one, which is the Goldilocks one, which is just right, which is the one that I do recommend, which is fairly waterproof, thick, thick, plain, thick paint and lacquer. Um, and sounds nice and is relatively cheap. So every instrument that I'm recommending, um, I am recommending kind of buying something, but I wanted to explain a little bit about that and just say, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a consumerist and I'm not a fan of that and, and I'm not a fan of advertising. I just have um, wanted to, to help anyone who's wanting to do music in protest to save some of the time that I've had to spend, you know, save, save you some time and some money to kind of pick the right thing. And also I've tried for myself, but kind of also for you watching, to choose brands that are really popular so they're likely to come up second hand. So like um, there's always Makala coloured ukuleles up second hand on eBay or such like. Um, I've chosen a few things like that, really, really commonplace brands that are likely to be available second hand so you don't have to buy buy a new thing and contribute to um, climate change through embedded carbon in, in that way. Um, also, there's not time for me to give all of the reasons why I've chosen this model of whatever guitar, uh, ukulele, pickup, etc, etc. Um, but if anyone wants to ask me that, I can probably answer it in the comments. And in each case, I have tried quite a lot of others. So it's there might be something else in the world which is better than what I've landed on, but um, I have not seen it. So um, you can ask me a bit more about why I've made that choice on any instrument if that's what you need, but there's just not enough, enough time for it in these videos. 
So I wanted to confirm that a little bit because I was hearing myself back as I was uh, finishing up the videos and thinking, ah, oh, I sound like I'm an advert and I don't want to sound like that. I want to kind of more come back to the spirit of want to enable you to get out into protest and playing music. And fundamentally, you can think about what you're going to play once you know that you've got an instrument that can be heard and you can take with you and all of that kind of stuff. And that's where I've been on the journey as well. So um, goodbye from me and back to the series. If you were going to take a ukulele, there's probably two that I'd recommend. Um, one is a carbon fibre ukulele that would stay in tune better than a wooden one. But I haven't found one at a good price point that I, I kind of really like. Um, or... Actually, this is probably the one I'd recommend. It's really heavy built. Um, it's by Makala, M-A-K-A-L-A, -A -A, um, and it's the like, 75 quid type coloured one. Actually, they might have come down to 50 quid. Um, put a really good set of strings on it and it will stay in tune. Let's see if it is. It's been on the wall for a week. That's a nib. I think that that's a really good one to take. Um, so it, again, it's not that loud. I think it is actually though slightly louder than the Yamaha Guitar Lady. Um, also difficult to keep in tune out of doors, but it's pretty good. And there's only four strings to be tuned, not six as on the Guitar Lady. Um, and then the other point is, if it's not gonna be all of that loud, um, it may as well be small. So uh, this is enough if like, it's not too loud of an environment that I can play a song, accompany myself, you know, sing it, get people to sing along. That's a good tool for the job. Um, and I do feel a bit restricted as a guitarist having less, but actually um, on the street, you really can't do a lot of the, the nice subtle stuff that I love doing on the guitar, like the altered tuning stuff, the finger picking. Really, it's, it's very often just a case of getting a, a rhythm together and, and strumming as loud as you can, um, or as loud as you can and slightly less loud for a variation. So that's really important. So that's a good contender and it fits in my backpack just for the top sticking out. So that's a good, a good one to take. Um, but my top pick for guitar-like things at the moment is um, actually this Rodrigo, the brand or the maker, um, three quarter size, essentially child's guitar. You can see this is second hand. It's someone's been learning the guitar and they've, they've given it back to the shop and they've part exchanged it and I've ended up buying it for cheaper. Um, but they're only £150 new. Um, and they're solid top, which is not actually a great idea for being out in all weathers. A solid top could potentially crack, but um, as opposed to like a plywood top. But it does mean it's got a really great sound. Um, and I've tuned it to Guitar Lady tuning. So this is like it's a capo on the fifth fret. And that's just because when it was in standard tuning of you know, e, e as the low string, it was just a little bit floppy. Um, to play hard to stay in tune and not very loud but once this is tuned up to A let's see if it's in tune nearly I don't know if you can actually because I'm recording on my phone and phone microphones often have an inbuilt compressor that sort of makes everything sound the same volume so but I can tell you in the room if this is loud uh, it's much louder and I'm not even playing it loudly yeah great so um really good to have this um, it's a really great companion. It is slightly larger uh, and I've got a very lightweight case for it. So I'm sort of taking a risk. I'm not really getting a case that's going to protect it really well. Um, but, you know, I think this is a, a perfect instrument for being um, on, a, on a protest on the street with. It's a good balance. And if you definitely know that you're going to um, you know, sing and accompany yourself, 
I think this is the best one for the job. If you're not sure if you're going to sing and accompany yourself um, and you've got like other things that you might be doing in the protest, so you don't know if you're going to take this all the way in and never use it, then I would say, you know, take take the Makala ukulele instead, because that way if you don't use it, you won't feel kind of the encumber encumbrance, <laughs> um, the bother of having <laughs> carried it around all day. Um, so that's it for best guitar-like thing or best guitar for, um, for a protest in my opinion. Mm -hmm.